Hi there. In this video, we'll show you a quick demo of Teleport 8. Teleport is the easiest, most secure way to access all your infrastructure. Our product, the Open Source Teleport Access Plane, consolidates the four essential infrastructure access capabilities every security conscious organization needs. Connectivity, authentication, authorization, and audit. Our unique approach is not only more secure, it improves developer productivity. Before we download Teleport, here is a quick preview. We start with a fresh terminal. To begin, I log into Teleport. This will populate short-lived credentials for SSH, Kubernetes, and databases. We now have a full inventory of machines, DBs, and clusters that we can connect to. I can quickly sort hosts using labels and SSH into a box. Teleport works with our standard tools, such as OpenSSH, KubeCuddle, and common database clients, such as PSQL and PSQL Admin. Teleport comes with a full UI offering a web-based terminal and connectivity to Windows hosts using Teleport Desktop Access. Teleport 8 enables passwordless access to Windows hosts, helping teams consolidate all of their access tooling. The UI has a full audit log of activity and advanced audit events, such as session recording, but we'll show that in a bit. First, let's download and install Teleport. Teleport is an open source project. You can find it on GitHub or download the approved binaries from our downloads page. The easiest way to get started is to download the 64-bit tarball. Let's grab that URL. Let's take a look inside. Inside, you'll find just three binaries. Teleport is a Linux daemon similar to SSHD. It needs to be running on the servers you need access to. TSH is the client run on developers' machines, and tcuddle is a remote administration utility. Getting the Teleport daemon up and running is easy. It needs a configuration file in the etc directory, such as most Linux tools. Also, create and enable a systemd unit service for it. You can find examples of those in the downloaded tarball. Let's see what it's like to use Teleport. Right now, I have a clean command line environment and don't have any SSH keys or credentials. First, I have to log in using the address of the Teleport proxy. In this video, Teleport is configured with my GitHub authentication. A web browser pops up and asks me to log into my GitHub account. Certificates for access are now stored in my command line environment. I can now access my service. Here is me getting access to a staging box, typing some random commands, and pretending that I'm doing something important. Let's do something fun, like htop. I can do this again without having to go through GitHub. For better security, my SSH certificates will expire in a few hours, and I'll have to authenticate again. In addition to basic access, Teleport has neat features, like letting me see what environments my organization has. These are called clusters. In my case, I only have one cluster, and that's my staging environment. And for each environment, it can let list all servers that are online and you have access to. The SSH certificate issued by Teleport will expire automatically, but I can log in anytime. Now let's take a look at the web UI. To access the UI, you just need the address of the Teleport proxy. I have to go through GitHub again, but it's easy because I'm already authenticated. I have a couple of nodes which I can access from the browser. You get a fully featured web-based console here, including the ability for uploading and downloading files. Let me type something again and pretend I'm working. We can also see currently active user sessions. Here I can see Evan is currently interacting with one of the boxes. I can join his session. I'm now in a teleport shared session. Everything that happens inside a cluster is always recorded for auditing purposes. Let me show you the details that are captured in the audit log. Here are a list of the events. As you can see, everything is recorded, even the window resize events and data transfer. See, that's my past command line session. I can now replay and see what I have done. The recordings are not videos. They are stored as raw input and output dumps and are trivial to analyze with third-party software. I want to show you one last feature for server access. Teleport was called Teleport 
because it creates an illusion of all your servers being on the same network as you. Your environment can be spread across many cloud providers, but even individual machines can be located anywhere. Next up, let's talk about protecting Kubernetes clusters. Teleport is cloud native and can be easily deployed as a pod with Kubernetes. In my case, I've set up a pod running Kubernetes service, dialing back to a root Teleport cluster. This lets me easily manage a bunch of Kubernetes clusters and can quickly access environments they spin up. To access my Kubernetes cluster, I will use TSH kubeLS to find out which one I want to connect to. I'm able to use labels to identify which cluster I have access to. I then log in using TSH kube login, and this will populate my local kube config with short-lived credentials. I'll now just use kube cuddle as normal, and if allowed, I'll exec into pods to run my debug toolkit on the fly. All of the kubectl commands are audited, and kubectl execs are also recorded with full playback capabilities. I'm able to quickly switch and move across clusters, all while using short-lived kubeconfig credentials. Next up, I'll show you Teleport Application Access. Teleport Application Access lets you provide secure access to applications. Companies often have a range of internal applications that they need to provide secure access to. These could be internal dashboards and admin tooling, or off-the-shelf tools such as CRMs and CI CD services. Teleport becomes a central gateway to these applications, letting you remove any public internet endpoints and keep them behind the NAT. Along with the added security of removing public internet endpoints, Teleport makes it easy to have an inventory of all apps, providing an integrated experience backed by JWTs. Here I have a Grafana instance deployed. I can automatically be logged in using Teleport's JWT authentication. Teleport can also be used to federate AWS Management Console and CLI. By adding AWS accounts to Teleport, you can easily provide limited IAM to your teams for quick and secure access. As with all things Teleport, all activity is logged to help you meet the toughest compliance requirements. Next up, let's talk about protecting databases. Many teams need access to DBs, from DBAs to data science. Inevitably, these users will need to touch either prod, staging, or a dev DB. And it can be difficult to provide access while keeping the databases secure. Teleport database access lets teams implement identity-based access to Postgres, MongoDB, and MySQL databases, helping teams meet compliance requirements, and prevent data exfiltration. Teleport provides a full list of databases I have access to. I use my terminal list, and then I can log into the DB. Once logged in, we're able to leverage my existing tooling. In my case, after I've logged in and received the credentials, I can use native psql. I can even leverage these short-lived credentials with my GUI tools, such as pgadmin. Teleport makes it easy to share internal DB users, but link activity back to an SSO identity. This combination of RBAC can make it very easy to implement advanced access control for your databases. Last up, I'll be talking about Teleport's latest addition, Teleport Desktop Access. Desktop Access provides passwordless access to Windows servers and desktops. Teams can now quickly access their Microsoft fleet using the secure Teleport access plane. We'll start by accessing the Teleport UI. As with our other protocols, I have an inventory of all of our hosts. These machines were auto discovered using scoped LDAP discovery. By using the login button, we were able to give access to the host to Teleport. We start a connection from the browser and in the background, Teleport will provide a short-lived certificate over the virtual smart card interface. This passwordless login is seamless and secure. Once logged in, we're able to use the full Windows GUI. I'm able to complete the rest of my tasks. And as with all protocols, I have a complete audit log of who logged into which box as who. That was a quick demo of Teleport. Download it from goteleport.com and take it for a spin. Thank you.